Cleansing is arguably one of the most important steps in our skincare routine and cleansing properly is probably more important. Don't big your skin, big bandage. Hey guys, welcome back to the Acne channel. It's your girl Liz, aka Pretty Progress 23. We cleanse to wash away makeup, excess oils, dirt, external factors from the environment, pollution. This allows our skin to breathe freely, prevents us from getting irritation, as well as preps our skin when we're using skincare products. If we are not cleansing properly, then our skincare is not gonna do its thing. So imagine kind of using like a vitamin C on uncleansed skin where there's still layers of makeup of dirt and SPF. It's gonna be really hard for vitamin C to get through those layers and as a result your vitamin C is not going to work because you're not cleansing properly. Cleansing at night is probably one of the most important times to cleanse as well. It really aids in the natural biologic regenerative process of our skin because our skin heals best at night and that's why you hear the phrase like beauty sleep. A lot of people are like, eh, beauty sleep doesn't really matter but I'm telling you when I lack sleep my skin breaks out, I start to stress and my skin doesn't heal at a faster rate. When I have adequate Quality sleep, it really, really helps. Anyways, back to cleansing. As you know, cleansing has many, many purposes. do really great benefits. So on the topic of double cleansing, what exactly is it? So as the name suggests, you cleanse twice. So the first step is using an oil cleanser. Now, some people might not suit oil, so they use like a balmy or milky cleanser, and that's fine as well. So oil, milky, or balm texture. And the second step is going in with a water-based cleanser, or it could be foamy, it could be gel as well, just to kind of get rid of that oil. And so it's a two act method when it comes to cleansing, hence double cleansing. So does it really work? Like, I mean, is it gonna improve our acne? Is it gonna clear up your skin? So sometimes your average cleanser isn't just gonna cut it and you have to go in with the second one, unless you find a good cleanser that removes all in one go. But usually it might be too stripping, so you gotta be really careful. And also you can't just use oil because the residue of oil might clog up your skin and that's why we have the two act method of cleansing. So I'm gonna quickly insert a video showing you my double cleansing method. It has been wonderful for me and it's made a difference. Okay, so as you can see, I have a face full of makeup. I've got some mascara, eyeshadow. The first step is using an oil-based cleanser. If you don't like oils and it doesn't suit your skin, then you can go in with a balmy cleanser or a milky cleanser. Right now, I've got the Vanilla Co Clean at Zero. I love this. If you go onto my Instagram, you can see that I've done like my first impressions probably a year and a half ago. And this is my second tub. So you can see it's quite brand new. It's so so beautiful. I'm just going to scoop out some onto my hands like so and then rub it into my fingertips and start applying it in circular motion. And this really melts away the makeup. I like to massage it for about 60 seconds to also increase that blood circulation. Some people say don't use the vanilla coat around your eyes but I'm pretty used to it. Um, just don't open your eyes or it's just going to sting. <laughs> So my face feels pretty fresh, but I'm going to show you with my cotton pad that the makeup is not completely off. I can, st I still have residue, as you can see. It's still quite dirty. So since I still have makeup residue on my face, I'm going to go in with my second cleanser, and I'm using the All Mint Clear Cleanser from Vanish. I'm going to use a few pumps on my hand. Rub, 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 and it goes really foamy like this. Okay, so my skin is a little bit flushed, but I am feeling really good. Um, some people ask us to do more harm than good because it's over cleansing, but it really depends. If you're doing it properly and your skin still feels nourished and hydrated right after double cleansing, then it's a really good method in your routine. But if your skin feels really tight and it's flaky, then I definitely don't recommend it. And sometimes it's not about the method that you're doing, it could be the cleanser. Some cleansers can be really drying, um, so just double check. And that's it for my double cleansing routine. So whether you decide to double cleanse or not, it's completely up to you. you have have to find what works for you. Personally, I love a good double cleanse every two to three days. Um, let me know down in the comments below how often you double cleanse or whether you double cleanse at all. And again, I hope you found this video helpful. Big kisses. Mwah. Bye guys. <laughs>